Hello and welcome back to the Cataclysm and the dark days ahead for Pedro Push. Yeah, so I'm really sorry about the previous three episodes having no sound. That was totally my fault. I yeah, some settings were wrong, so I tried to record from a microphone that wasn't connected. So, quick recap of what happened is that. I went down to this pawn shop <coughs> and found myself a broadsword. <laughs> that one is really, really awesome and um, a bit overpowered, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I can turn off this medieval weapons, but it's, it's cool. Uh, I also found the Pickelhaube. I speak not good Deutsch, but, um, well, <laughs> uh, this is a German military helmet with a spike on the top, a very sharp spike, so uh, that's good, good protection, and, uh, and uh, yes, um, it probably looks cool, <laughs> maybe a bit weird with, well, I have combat boots, and yeah, three pants. <laughs> And a jean jacket. Oh well. Um, yes, head encumbrance has no effect. It's just a limit to how much you can stack on on top of your head. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I did that. And then I went. I, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was hanging around downtown. Um, Somewhere in this area, I found a car. This one, which is a flatbed truck with six giant cargo spaces in the back. I'm actually gonna rename this one to the Hydra. And let me tell you why. <laughs> okay, so when we first found it, the car appeared to be completely functional. Uh, didn't have much uh, gasoline, but but uh, it had enough. And but there were no keys to start the car. So, but I managed to hotwire it so that the key uh, the car started. Uh, but that, that set off the security system, which is a <laughs> blaring alarm that attracted all the zombies and was very disturbing. Um, <laughs> But then I managed to uh, disable the alarm, but that uh, destroyed the controls. <laughs> or I guess destroying the controls disables the alarm or something like that. Um, and while I was doing that, the car was running, so now I can't turn off the engine because there are no controls and I don't have the mechanics skill to fix the controls. <laughs> So now it's just, well, it's charging up the batteries, like, to full, but, yeah, it's gonna just run until it goes down to, uh, until it has no more gasoline, so, um, yeah, <laughs> so, it's like every time I solve one problem with this car, you know, two new problems appear, so, that's why I'm naming it the Hydra, let's hope we can. Uh, we have absolutely no mechanic skill, that's why we can't really do any repairs or anything to this car. We can't even... Can we remove parts? Well, I think I have... Ooh. No, it... Oh, level 2 mechanics. <laughs> Dang it! I think I have a hacksaw, but... Uh, <clears throat> well, that's... So, uh, yeah, that took up... Uh, good part of uh, the previous episodes um, I spent some time trying to you know, build tables and crates and uh, stuff to get my uh, construction skill up to two and got fabrication um, yeah you see 66 percent to level two so that's not too bad um, I started making a wooden 
experiment vehicle here. Um, and the only thing I have the skill to install is this travois, which is like a, a sled or something. I did look it up on Google. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a wooden sled or a thing you like. Uh, there's like. Could, like attach it to a horse with two wooden poles and there's a, a space down there where you can store stuff so I'm guessing that's how it works in the game as well I think it has some storage um, but this well let's actually install this just to see what happens Oh, we need. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was trying to find duct tape because we need a welder. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to weld wood, uh, but we need a welder or duct tape to install it. So, yeah, we can't even do it. And I, I don't remember if it exactly which episode, but I managed to build a fireplace here, a stone fireplace. So that was um, that's really good. Now we have fire inside, and we can. Cook and read and whatnot. And there's a bunch of two by fours. And, uh, I don't know uh, anything else that happened in the previous episodes. I don't really expect anyone to watch those. I don't know two hours or so of cataclysm with no sound or anything. Uh, can't be much fun. So yeah. <clears throat> oh, also, I left my um, thing uh, wheelbarrow <laughs> down where I found the car, and um, and I transported everything with the car and. I put everything inside there's nothing here no. um yeah no. <laughs> so yeah we got a lot of food we got yeah what i really want is a mechanics book so we could get this car going and well we're going to need some tools a welder would be very nice um, or duct tape. So we're gonna have to go and do some exploration. Not sure if I dare to go into the mall yet. Uh, could try out this area. And there was, I th pretty sure I ran away because of a shocker brute or something somewhere down here uh, that's hmm, clothing store bar house and I want hmm I don't let's Let's try to go down to this area and see what we can find down there. Um, let me see. I'll just drop off some stuff and, uh, and pick up some food. All right, I'm back after a quick pause. I made some cornbread can take with us and I have some water and and I reinforced my combat boots and the leather belt <laughs> so let's let's get some more um, so take a couple of plastic bottles and we go up to there's a bathroom in this place. There we go. <coughs> Let's just 
just uh, make some clean water. How much can we make? Two. Uh, yes. Uh, so. Well, that's all the good. That's of course we can't drive the vehicle either. But we have no controls, so. <sighs> oh. Zombie. Well, now you can see the ooh many zombies. Now you can see the broadsword in action. If you haven't seen that before, well, it's. It doesn't look any different from any other weapon, but... Pow! 52 damage, you chopped the zombie child. Two hits. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Smash all the corpses. Anything here? <clears throat> cookies. Oh yeah, I want cookies. Um, lots of clothing, cash card, uh, briefs, a crowbar. Oh, that's useful. I haven't made a makeshift crowbar, have I? Um, I'm gonna eat some cookies. Drop the no, yeah, we dropped the box. Okay, good. Enjoy the cookie. <laughs> Smash a television. Okay. Giant bees. Hmm. Eh, let's also, I tried to update the game, but I'm still getting the the, the problem with with um, cars having turned into like black holes or singularities. I followed. All the recommendations I could find on the forums, and uh, I don't know what's wrong. There's a cool little electric car. Hey, does it work? No, it has no wheels. Okay. Mm. Let's go a bit further south here. Oh lord, there's a zombie technician, an amigo, and a kraken. But the zombie technician is chasing this squirrel. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> um. Oh, there's lots of them in there. Oh, this. That's the power substation. Right? Yes. <clears throat> There's zombies in there. <gasps> Packed M72 law. Oh, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Oh, that Migo is just slaughtering zombies there. Is this a house? Yes. <gasps> it's a library! Holy jackpot! A jewelry store. Not so much. An arcade and a pharmacy. Okay, this is very good. Um, unless we get killed by this zombie brute or the Migo or 
<laughs> something. Um, let's try to break into this house. There we go. A blow from the zombie brute sends the Kraken flying. Wow. Yeah, this fighting between uh, you know zombies and other creatures are pretty cool. Anything in here? India Pale Ale. Nice. to remote control stuff now, not just not just toy cars. Can sardine, yes sir. One brew. Uh one barrette. A barrette with lots of words. Not sure what it is. Some kind of jewelry. Computer gaming, just for fun. Marbles, sure. Batteries. Um, that's a radio. I'll take it. Firecrackers. Cool. Um, eyeglasses. What are we need? Bifocal glasses. There's bifocal glasses. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> you see, our one backpack. Do we have a backpack? We have a messenger bag. Have to carry books and stuff. Um, probably gonna need a backpack. Uh, glass breaking. Take the long string. Oh lord. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that wasn't <laughs> as bad as I feared. I even took out the brute very quickly. Yeah, the, the broadsword is overpowered. No doubt about it. Smash corpses. Um, we have a screwdriver. I'll take the maple syrup. Cigarettes? Nah. Cash card. Bike helmet. Hmm, that's almost as good protection as the Pickelhaube. And yes, the Perry technique. Hmm. Well, let's try to put on this backpack now. It's gonna encumber our torso by two. Yeah. This is strapped onto you. Yeah, well. Just gonna have to deal with that. <clears throat> Nothing else of interest there. Now, whoa. Let's see if we can't get into the library once we have a look at. Oh, yes, the. <laughs> Are these military corpses? Yes. Army jackets are pretty awesome when they're not torn apart. They used to be awesome at least. Tough jacket, lots of pockets. Yeah. 
Um, army pants. Okay, yes. Uh, let's make a note here. Uh, a army corpses and clothes and stuff should be descriptive enough. Um, we're gonna have to go back here with. Uh, when we have a uh, shopping cart or something to carry all this. Then we can take all this cool clothing back home and repair them and so on. Um, so what's up there? That's a house. A house full of spaghetti, lasagna, and wine. Okay, good stuff there. Ooh, power armor helmet. Medical ampule. Needs an injector device though. Um. Oh well, <coughs> let's go to the library. Mm. Okay, what do we have? Top gear. Uh, top Gear, that's about driving, yeah. Uh, um, computer gaming. Let's see, let's all and inventory. Zombie Survival Guide, Tripitaka, that's a Buddhist book. sci-fi novel. I think Pedro Bush likes a little bit of science fiction. Spetsnaz knife techniques. <clears throat> Quick guide to pitching. Uh, pitching a tent? No, baseball pitching. Okay, so throwing. Hmm. What's a transistor? That's electronics. That's absolutely good. Um, Let's take this, we have the space to carry them. Sports novel, nope. Um, big up first aid is excellent, I'll succeed in business, we don't need, do we? Uh, no, it's bartering or speaking or something useless. Pitching a tent, that's also nice, that's survival. How to trap anything is... Trapping book, under the hood. Yes! Jackpot! That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> oh, good lord. Um, yeah, there's some giant books. We have the space so far. Sewing techniques for designers. Well, can we... Hmm. Uh, our tailoring is at level 3. Let's just check out this one. Ooh! <gasps> oh! Double jackpot! Uh, or not? Well, there's an awesome lot of great recipes here. Requires tailoring. Blah, blah. Can bring tailoring to uh, six and requires level three. That's perfect. Outdoor survival guide we have already. Um, close the door. Oh, okay. This guy. Um, all right, let's go home and read. Oh, this is an excellent find. Yeah, really, really excellent. So now we just need a bunch of food and water, and we can sit around at home and reading all these books. What are you? You're a dog? Yes. Pedro Bush kill a dog to eat it. No, we're not desperate. I'm not a dog person, but you know, myself in real life. But I don't. I don't dislike dogs either. Just 
Dogs are nice. There's a coyote. Hello. You are okay to eat. I really like how you know, zombies and animals and whatnot are <coughs> attacking each other. That's, uh, okay, there we are. That's a really cool addition. It's a firefighter, is a zombie fighting a giant bee. <laughs> it in my head okay well I'll I'll pause the recording now when we get back home and I'll do a lot of reading and that's not gonna be too much fun to look at me sitting around there reading all these books so see you very soon all right um, it's been about uh, I think 24 hours of in-game time and we are now um, we now have level 2 mechanics skill yay that's nice <clears throat> eat some meat and water I also went to the gardening supply store and got this gallon jug that well, it used to hold uh, Liquid fertilizer, yeah. Uh, but now it's my water donator, so I can have a good amount of water on hand. <clears throat> Let me just see here. Can we now remove stuff? Just need a hacksaw. And I'm pretty sure I picked up a hacksaw. This is the tool pine. Yes, sir. I have two hacksaws. Okay, this is nice. Um, and I think the car has finally run out of gas, which is also, well, no, it's still varying. <laughs> um, but now we can, uh, I also want to siphon some gas from some of these cars around here, but technically we could like, yes, we can. Okay, yes, it works. We can remove stuff. What about installing? Well, we are gonna need a bunch of duct tape or a welder. That's gonna be... Does this one have working controls? Yes, it does. attached to it. Okay, let's remove what we can. No. The seat. The roof. Controls are attached to the security system. That would be typical, right? Okay, well, at least now we have some steel frames and sheet metal. That's good. Uh, let's Sleep soon, I guess. Oh, 
just find another car somewhere. Here's one. Are there security systems in all the cars now? So that's bullshit. <laughs> security system. Now we can remove these controls at least. It's very good. And I have to figure out what my cat won. Okay, so we removed the controls. There we go, excellent. So I'll head back home, get some sleep, and uh, Tomorrow we can see if we can install the controls. We probably need a welder, so uh, yeah. Just drop those there. All right, I'll be back in a second. Oh God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh shit, I was standing here. And the fireplace is there, and a bunch of wood is was was there. <laughs> and I was gonna light the fire in the fireplace, the two by four there, but I pressed the wrong key, and now I lit the fire there. <sighs> Even though we remove the two by fours, there's still fire. No. Oh uh, god, it's gonna spread. Can I just dump some water on it to... To... Yeah, no. If I... Uh... Gallon jug. Unload. In this direction. Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's gonna be some smoke in here, but uh, <laughs> and we wasted some water, but we. Eh. Oh well. Ah. Okay, let's try again. Apply matches or lighter there. Step away from the smoke, and let's. Um, think cool we could do. Let's cook a burrito for breakfast. Yeah. And eat delicious burrito. Mm. Some water. <clears throat> and how much is left up here? It's not going to last too long, so we're going to get some more water from a different place, but that's fine. Um, oops. Batch. For clean water. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Now, let's see here. Oh, God. If I remove the controls, now something is attached. Install a second controls now, can we? Could we install controls there? Theoretically, it looks like we can. Hmm. <laughs> and all this removing of things did that. 
do anything to our mechanics. Oh yes. So at least that's good. Um, <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get this car really good. Our security system is broken. working solar panels so Wee. um okay, I'm not sure what to <laughs> Just um, well, uh, let's see now. Under the hood, it has lots of cool crafting recipes. I think we need quite a high mechanic skill to to understand them all. But there's some good stuff here. Kitchen buddies, batteries, small electric motor, makeshift welder. Ooh, that could be very yeah, I'll take another little time out here and read more. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Alright, uh, mechanics level 3. Can we learn any of the recipes? Yes. Uh, vehicle controls. Oh, we can make our own. Failed to learn recipe. Failed. Failed. Okay, we probably need higher skills to learn anything more. Um, yeah, stop. Okay. Let's drop it there. So, uh, where are... Pipes, trucks of steel, wire, and wire. Okay. Um, tin can. And um, another thing I did was to place down a leather funnel here. So we we're slowly collecting water into our gallon jug. Um,. So what's the next step? I guess we could just remove lots of parts from various cars and try to get our mechanic skill up that way in order to maybe learn the makeshift welder recipe. That would be nice. My intelligence only eight, yeah. Do we have any good stimulants? We should go down to the pharmacy. Yeah, I forgot about that. Maybe hey, some splintered wood we could burn. It's good. Um, do we really have any admiral or stuff like that? No. So, <clears throat> it's drizzling. Um, did we Let's see rain? We have a raincoat, which fits. And there are all the army stuff down there we also want. Mm. Oops. Wait a minute. Let's first get this raincoat. And wear it. And 
drop off some stuff we don't need to be carrying, like, um, let's see here. Take all these with me, and uh, let's see, just drop off those. Please, thank you. And uh, drop that. That. And um, oh no, the pelts have gone rotten. Oh. <laughs> yes, drop all that. Okay. Now, can I grab this one? Yes, I can. I was just wondering. No, we need welder or. Oops. Uh, that was. If I could just install a box or something. But we need duct tape or a welder. For anything, I guess. Yes. Mm. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. But let's see. I'm wearing my rain. Uh. Raincoat. There we go. Um. Okay. So let's go down to the pharmacy and or the. RB corpses. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll just end this episode here because it's about 40 minutes or so, I think. Yeah, 42. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and join me again next time. Until then, take care.